Hi, it's Richard Wilkins here, speaking to you on stress. Now, stress, that's a great one. Stress, what is stress? Actually, it's not a bad thing. This is going to surprise you. Uh, but listen up, you see, they're spending millions of pounds at the moment, you know, in, in the workplace to try and stop stress, you know, this sort of modern plague that's happening. But you see, it's not. It's an early warning system. It's an alarm. Look, let me explain. On our programs, what we often say to people early on in the program, probably that, you know, within the first hour often, say, what I need from you, this is what I say to the delegates, what I need from you is a serious lack of effort. And of course they love it. They think, oh, well, we've got to do this. Suddenly I'm telling them that we need a serious lack of effort. What do I mean by that? Well, the whole point is, watch my hand now, look, it can move through the air, no problem. But, as soon as it meets resistance, you need effort. You've got to push, you've got to push harder. So the secret is, if you don't want effort, you've got to find out where the resistance is. Well, what stress is, it's an early warning system to say, no! We don't need to be going down this way. If you're going to go down this way, it's the wrong career. It's the wrong relationship. This isn't good for your health. Ignore it if you want. Go down that route and you could have an early death or you waste your life. You do all these things. Now, you know, people say, well, we didn't have stress years ago. Absolutely correct. Why? The reason we didn't have stress years ago is because we just go along with things. Look, take the First World War. Yeah? They'd blow a whistle, people would know, they'd go up over the trench and walk to their certain death. That wouldn't happen now. You know, there were more people killed in one battle, the Battle of the Somme, than the whole of the Second World War. That wouldn't happen. People just wouldn't get up out of a trench knowing they're going to die. That's just one example. People stayed in relationships years ago. A woman, it was accepted within my lifetime when I was a kid that the guy is probably going to come home and give his wife a good hiding. Doesn't that sound ridiculous now? But that's the way it is. And now we say, no, that is not acceptable. So the whole point about stress is, stress isn't a bad thing. It shows you that your warning system is working. It's the ABS system. You know, you get that in your, in your car to help you brake so you don't skid. That's what this is. So don't don't ignore stress. Stress is the warning system. You need to look at the resistance. Why do we feel the pressure? Because stress is pressure. Why have we got this pressure in our lives? And we need to look at that. Now you might be thinking, oh no, I thought Richard was going to solve it. I was going to get the answer to stress hit. We are. What we're saying is it's an early warning system. You need to look at the other videos here that can show you the different ways and how you can find the way to go. That's what BC is all about. That's the whole BC message. Showing you a different way. How to take your level of consciousness up. So the only reason that stress didn't exist years ago is because we got a lower level of awareness. There wasn't the resistance because we just went along with it. We stuck at the job. We stuck at the relationship. We went up over the top of the trench and literally got killed. So it's not a bad thing. Early warning system. Check out the other videos here. Check out what BC is about and get your life on track. Stress, early warning system. No problem. See you later. Bye.